Hello friends, welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub. In this video, we will talk about some key differences between cloud hosting and managed hosting, and we'll see which type of hosting is better for you specifically. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. Now in this video, I will use two words a lot. One is cloud hosting, and second is managed hosting. So by cloud hosting I mean hosting like AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, DigitalOcean, Linode. And by managed hosting I mean hosting like SiteGround, Cloudways, Hostinger, etc. Now first of all understand, what is cloud hosting? Cloud hosting mean, it is the process of outsourcing an organization's computing and storage resources to a service provider that offers its infrastructure services in a utility model. In simple words, it will give you a server, a bare metal server, and on that server, you have to install and manage your things by yourself. Now, what is managed hosting? Managed hosting mean, it is an IT provisioning model, in which a service provider leases dedicated servers and associated hardware to a single customer, and manages those systems on the customer's behalf. In simple word it means, it is not like cloud hosting, where we only get the bare metal server and then we have to do other things. Here, we no need to manage servers, only we need to put our WordPress in it, and then we are good to go. Now let's see some advantages of cloud hosting. First, cloud hosting provides significant capital and operational savings to organizations because they don't have to spend a lot on the initial upfront capital cost associated with owning and managing data centers. It also has the ability to scale more efficiently, using and paying only for the resources they need. One of the main benefits of using cloud hosting services is flexible and more cost-efficient scalability in building applications, websites and other services. Because users can scale as needed, they are charged only for the services they use and do not pay for any unused capacity. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of cloud hosting. First, security and data. Most cloud service providers implement relevant security standards and industry certifications to ensure that their cloud environment remains safe. However, storing data and business critical files in virtual data centers can potentially open you up to risks, and risk like data loss or theft, data leakage, etc. Cloud downtime. The cloud, like any other IT setup, can experience technical problems such as reboots, network outages, and downtime. These events can incapacitate business operations and processes, and can be damaging to business. Limited control. The cloud service provider owns, manages and monitors the cloud infrastructure. You, as the customer, will have minimal control over it. You will be able to manage the applications, data and services operated on the cloud, but you won't normally have access to key administrative tasks, such as updating and managing firmware or accessing server shell. Now let's talk about some advantages of managed hosting. First, lower your operating cost. There are indeed a lot of hidden costs to unmanaged hosting services. There's a need to hire database admins, system admins, and other staff to manage your servers. However, going with a managed service provider eliminates these additional costs. If you hire a good hosting provider, you can save your money and invest in customer relationships. Second, no need for extra support staff. When you hire a team and train them to support your clients 24-7, it could be very expensive. Having professional support means there's no need to train your staff or put in additional resources. Server monitoring. Managed services enable proactive detection of vulnerabilities and irregularities to ensure nothing impacts the productivity of your business. Now, let's talk about disadvantages. First, you do not have full control. Since the web hosting company controls all the web hosting aspects of your website, sometimes you might not be happy with the result of their work. You may have to contact customer service in order to fix the things, rather than having them fixed right away by using the services offered by your in-house IT expert. Second, it might be useless for you. Managed hosting is useful if you have a big website, which receives a big amount of traffic and generates a big income. If you are just starting out and only have a basic website that you can manage by yourself, a managed website hosting service will not be of too much use for you. In addition to this, it will add a significant expense to your monthly budget. Now I hope, you understand the difference between these two. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. 
I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.